Right, let's hit this second video on transformers. So we're gonna calculate the output voltage now. Previously on video one, we did the input voltage. So let's talk about parts of this formula and what we're actually calculating and the relationship between the ratio and what we're actually looking at. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got a transformer here on the right again, and we've got a question above here. Let's read it. A transformer has 250 primary and 25 secondary turns and has a primary voltage of 230 volts. What value is the output voltage? Okay, let's look at these again. So 250 primary turns, we're looking at that here. 25 secondary turns, we're looking at that over here. So straight away, we can see that it's a step down transformer, can't we? So we're expecting this voltage to go down, aren't we, for this second side. So when we're looking for the output voltage, we're looking for this number to be lower than this number because it's a step down transformer, okay? And like we did in the first video, we could calculate the ratio between these two sides and we'd be able to work out what this voltage is going to be. So that's all we're really doing with this formula I'll draw on, the, on here now, is we're calculating the ratio, so how much it drops down, and then that number that we get from working out that ratio, we're multiplying it by this voltage here. Let's draw it out here so we can see and we'll talk about it as we go. So we're calculating the output voltage. Output voltage is equal to our input voltage, okay, multiplied by the turns on the secondary divided by our turns on our primary side. Okay, so looking at this now, so we're working at our output voltage, so we're going to get our input voltage, this one, and we're going to multiply it by these two divided, the secondary turns divided by the primary turns. Right, okay, so what we're looking for is how many times 25 fits into 250. That's going to give us this answer here. And then we're going to multiply it by the input voltage. Okay, so let's do it and we'll continue analysing it as we go and see if we can figure out a way of thinking about this. So we're not just doing calculations, we actually understand what we're looking at. Okay, so we know our input voltage is 230, don't we? That's this bit. And we're going to multiply that by this calculation here. So when we do 25 divided by 250, okay? Let's draw it out again, another layer so we understand what we're doing. 230, still the same, multiplied by 0.1. Right, okay. So, looking at 230 multiplied by 0.1, right. Let's write this out here and see what we get. So when we do 230 multiplied by 0.1, we come out with 23 volts. And we are done now, we've actually got the answer. So let's write this down here, 23 volts, okay. But let's get an understanding of how we've got it. 230 multiplied by 0 0.1, multiplying something by 0 0.1 is the same as dividing it, look, is the same as dividing it by 10. So if we did 230 volts divided by 10, we'd get 23 volts as well. Let's talk about this even further now. So all we've actually done, like we said at the beginning, with, with this bit of the formula, turns secondary divided by turns primary, that's just calculating the ratio how much it's stepping down, isn't it? And then we're multiplying that number we get for that ratio by the input voltage. So we're getting the ratio that it's stepping down, how much it's gonna step down, yeah? And then that number, we're gonna multiply the input voltage by that number, aren't we? So let's look at it again, let's do, let's do, um, I'll draw our ratio out here. So we know, don't we, if we did 250 divided by 25, let's do that. 250 divided by 25, that's gonna give us an answer of 10, isn't it? So we know that 25 fits into 250 10 times, we know that. So it's a step down transformer, isn't it? And it's stepped down at a ratio of 10 to one, hasn't it? It's gone from 10, times here down to one times here. And then we do the same for the voltage. So I'm just trying to make it clear to you what you're actually doing. You're actually just calculating with this formula. All you're doing is calculating the ratio with this bit, dividing the turns on the secondary by the turns on the primary. And then you're multiplying it by the input voltage. And that's gonna give you the answer of 23 volts. Okay, let's move on.